Hey, and welcome. I'm ZN Solo 101. Today I'll be going over how to update your MSI motherboard. Nervous? Don't be. It's a very easy process, so let's jump into it. Okay, first thing we need to do is go to MSI.com. You can do this by going to MSI.com or Google searching for MSI and going to the MSI.com or your region. Once you're in here, we want to click on the support and we want to search the motherboard that you have. So we're going to search for an X570 board. We scroll down and we find make sure that it's our motherboard. If you're not sure what your motherboard is, you can download MSI Dragon Center by just going to msi.com and finding the Dragon Center or typing in MSI Dragon Center and clicking the first link that comes up it will lead to a spot where you can download the Dragon Center. In here it gives you a few options and you can click on your system info and it will let you know what version of BIOS you're on and along with uh, quite a bit of other information. This is a good way to be able to check. So in your My Devices after you've logged in to your MSI Dragon Center, it should show what your motherboard is if you're not quite sure of it. Okay, so we want to click on our motherboard. And we want to go over here to support again. This is going to have a list of our BIOS. Then find the latest version of the BIOS that's not a beta version and download it. So make sure that it's not a beta version like this one here. So we're going to take this one right here and click and download it. Once the download's complete, we're going to just find the folder that we just downloaded and we're going to extract all. Alright, so we have our folder there. Now that it's extracted, we're going to plug in our USB drive. Okay, after you plug a brand new USB stick in, we're going to go here click on this PC and find the USB stick that you just plugged into your computer go to properties and make sure its filing system is FAT32 if it's not a FAT32 you can right click on it and go down to format this is going to give you the option to pick your capacity and your filing system make sure it's a FAT32 Name it whatever you like. I'm just going to name my new SB stick for the example and click start. Okay, format is complete. All right, you're ready to put your BIOS on it. I already have mine plugged in here. I'm just going to bring it over here and click on my USB stick. Now the folder that we just extracted, we're going to open this folder. There's going to be another folder inside of it. We want in here and this here E7, C3 with a dot .aco we need these two files right here we just want to copy and paste that onto the USB drive that's all you have to do is plug your USB drive in extract this file open it all the way till you have nothing left to open no more folders left and copy these two files and it should always have a file that it will kind of look like this it'll be pretty straightforward and have a dot in the middle of it that'll work pretty easy alright once you have those on your USB stick you're ready to restart your computer that's everything you need once you restart your computer you need to start that's all you need all you'll need to do is restart your computer and to start the process for flashing your BIOS before we go any further in the process I want to let you know this is a pretty safe process unless the power goes out or you're randomly struck by lightning in your house or you know something unfortunate actually happens an earthquake many things could happen that could interrupt the installation of your BIOS at the very end of this year video I'm going to add in a couple of places on your motherboard you can check to see if you have 
a CMOS button or a JBAT connector to reset your BIOS. So if something does happen, these are safeguards if you're nervous to do it that you can use if you can check ahead of time to make sure that you have them so that if you are nervous of doing it, it'll relax you a little bit knowing that you just only have to touch a screwdriver to a spot on your motherboard and you're right back to the BIOS that you used to have. So this is a pretty safe process and it's very easy. There's not too many motherboards that don't have a way to reset it and I'll leave a couple different ways and how to find it in your manual, how to find the manual, there are a couple of web, like mostly MSI stuff. So I'll leave all of the links to that where you would need to find it. So back on the same website, MSI Motherboards, <clears throat> once you found your motherboard and found your BIOS, you can click on the manual and you can download the manual in any language. Uh, in this here, um, it's on page 28 in my manual, so it should be somewhere in between that and your manual too, and it'll be called a JBAT. So that was just something I wanted to make sure that I made very apparent so that you know what you're getting into before you do this. It's not a scary process. There's lots of ways to fix it. A lot of people are nervous of doing it. I would just relax and click the button. This doesn't have a really big chance of messing up unless something happens to your power. So if you're in a brownout zone or have a chance of a power going, if you look outside and see it storming, Maybe pick a different day to do your BIOS unless it's something that you really have to do. And then maybe a battery bank or there's lots of other options. I've never been nervous to update my BIOS, but I have had a lot of comments on my last video. Then people were pretty nervous of updating their videos and it was good to relax them a little bit. And I'll leave a couple of things at the end of the video to make sure that you know how to reverse any damage you might cause if you're nervous. I'll leave a couple of ways to reset your BIOS if the power happens to go out while you're installing it, just in case you're a little nervous of doing your BIOS. Okay, that being said, let's restart the computer. All right, first thing it goes black screen, make sure you start spamming that delete button right away. You have to start clicking it right away, first thing it goes black, and just spam it until it comes back up. Which should only take a few seconds, it usually doesn't take very long. Okay, there we go. Okay, once we're in here, we're going to see the M flash utility if you're in simple mode if you're in advanced mode the m flash utility will be here on the msi board so we're going to click this and it's going to tell you the system will reboot auto reboot and enter flash mode yes you're going to want this to happen it's going to go black screen again and pop back up into the m flash mode okay it's going to tell you that you're entering flash mode and it's going to enter a screen like this okay now I in the drive, your USB flash, it should pick it up automatically if it's a FAT32. And you'll see that file, that E7C3.ACO that you added to the drive. If you see the in, a familiar file, that's the one you click on. And are you sure? Are you sure to select this file? It took me a second to read. And so that's all we have to do is just make sure that our format it. FAT32 USB drive. I forgot to mention that previously. It has to be formatted in the FAT32. An NTFS filing system on the USB drive won't pick up in the M flash, as far as I know. So uh, maybe double check to make sure that you have a FAT32 quick format on your USB drive. Okay, once you've clicked on that there, it's gonna ask you, are you sure to select the file and make sure it's the one that you put in there and click yes. This here screen is going to take a little while, so what I would suggest is to kick back, relax, maybe grab a cup of coffee, browse a little Twitter, check out Facebook, do a little bit of something. This is going to take about 5 to 10 minutes at least, so I'll get back to you when it's done.
Okay, once that's done, it's gonna do a couple of restart cycles. Don't be worried if it restarts more than one time. That is a normal process. It's gonna do it twice. All right, there we go. Once it starts loading up, you'll know you successfully installed your BIOS. And there we go, back into Windows. Uh, that's everything there is to it. That's as easy as it is to get your BIOS flashed onto your computer. I'm going to leave a little, a few extra videos. If you happen to have an issue with your BIOS and you start updating it and your power goes out, there's a couple of fixes just in case you had any problems with it. So here they are. Alright, if you happen to have the power go out, just take a paper clip, bend it like this, and you should see the J back connector. It's almost on every single motherboard, and it will be right underneath the video card, right here. You can see these two prongs. All you have to do is connect these, a screwdriver, paper clip, or anything. While it's running, these fans are on, everything is running. And I'm going to do this barehandedly, and I'm going to touch this live to show you that Right now I'm in the middle of my computer's turned on and you want to make sure that your computer's turned on when you touch this. And all you want to do is if it doesn't load up and you get a black screen due to a power outage and your computer's booting back up and it does not work, all you have to do is while well, it's turned on just touch those two connectors and there it is. Off it goes. That's everything you need to do. And then turn it back on, it should look right back into the previous BIOS for you to try again. So I just wanted to make sure that I leave that at the end of the video so that you guys will feel safe and secure doing your BIOS updates. You can always take a look on your motherboard before you even attempt to do a BIOS update. Refer to your manual, check your BIOS, and make sure that the jumper's there. Check with a flashlight and see it. If you're worried, that's the best way. Make sure you have a backup plan. And a paper clip is all you really need for that. On the note, I want to thank everyone for watching. If you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.